can't go on like this. That's how it was for Joe. When Joe was four years old, his mother tried to kill him. Joe spent the next 15 years, well, Joe grew up in 15 different foster homes. When he was finally adopted, his new parents, abusive. Joe didn't know what it felt like to be loved. And at the age of 15, he was already thinking about suicide. But now Joe kind of believed in God. And he offered God a deal. He said, if things don't change in my life by this date, I'm calling it quits. Well, that day arrived. It was one of the worst days of Joe's life. So Joe followed through. He did try to take his own life. But he failed. Then he spent the next eight weeks recovering in a hospital. While at that hospital, Joe met a nurse named Lori Ann. Lori Ann gave Joe a copy of a New Testament. Now to Joe, Lori Ann was cool and she seemed to have it all together, yet she still needed God. So he started to think, well, maybe I need God too. So Joe started to read that New Testament. And he offered God a fresh deal. He said, God, if you are real, I need you to do something to change my life because I can't go on like this. That night, Joe was saved. Here's how Joe describes the transformation that took place in his life. Now I've been married for 16 years to an incredible woman of God. We have four beautiful children. Every now and then my wife Tara and I will talk about a life, about how our lives have changed. It really begins to blow your mind when you think about a life that can come from one end of the spectrum and end up on the other. There's only one logical explanation, and that is the power of God. Share God's word and change lives. These few words really sum up what Gideon's International is all about. For more than 100 years, Gideon's and our supporters have been sharing God's word and helping to change lives around the world. We're unique in that our members live where they serve. We aren't just visitors in countries like Sudan, Haiti, Nepal, and Ukraine. Gideon's actually live and work there, sharing the gospel. Last year, Gideon's distributed more than 88 million copies of God's word around the world in over 90 languages. We're reaching many in places like India where scripture distributions have increased dramatically and can increase even more if necessary funds become available. We're reaching our own area too. Since June, the Gideon's camp that I serve in alone has distributed more than 8,000 copies of God's word at places like carnivals, hospitals, doctor's offices, schools, college campuses, and more. 29 of those, 2,900 of those scriptures were distributed at the Blue Corn Festival. This year, I'll be glad to say that you'll see us at Black Gold Days. Currently, the Gideons serve the Lord in more than 190 countries, often going where individual churches and denominations cannot. So what is it that make Gideon special? Well, we're not special. We're just like you. We're born-again members of local churches. And as business and professional men, we merely want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to receive God's word and know Christ as their Savior. To do that, we visit churches like our own, share the blessings that God is providing through the distribution of scriptures, and those blessings are many. Isaiah 55, 11 assures us that God's word will not go out and return to him void. Through your support, the Gideon's ministry is at work every second of every day. God's work worked in the life of a college student named Rob. I'm going to burn this book. That was Rob's response to Gideons who were handing out New Testaments at his college campus. Rob was angry that God's word was being provided. He yelled at the Gideons. He hurled challenging questions that he really had no interest in hearing the answer to. But one of the Gideons challenged Rob. He said, read this book. It'll change your life. Rob took the book, threatening to burn it instead. A year later, the Gideons returned to the college campus for another distribution, and Rob returned as well. He walked up to the Gideons and said, Do you remember me? The Gideon did, in fact, remember Rob. 
Well, Rob apologized to him, asked for his forgiveness, and let him know that he had accepted his challenge. He had read the New Testament, and he had surrendered his life to Christ. Share God's word and change lives. Gideon's distributed at least two scriptures per second, and as I've shared, the scripture is changing lives. So why am I with you today? Because despite the many things that we've been able to accomplish through your support in distributing God's word, the need is greater than ever before, and the need continues to grow. Recent estimates place the number of unsaved people on this planet at over 5 billion. 5 billion lives that desperately need the life-changing word of God. You can help us reach them. If God leads you today, please consider giving to the Gideon ministry. When you give to Gideon's International, you help impact lives for Christ. For just about a dollar and a quarter, you can provide for the total cost of placing scriptures like this right here in the hands of someone who desperately needs it. Lives are being changed because of churches like ours. Gideon's International is serving as an extension to, those, to all of the church's ministries to the world. We go other places. We go places where other ministries cannot go. If you think about the Bibles and the hotels at Gideon's place. Five dollars can pay for the entire price to place that Bible in that hotel room. But that one Bible has the potential to reach 2,300 lives during its stay in that hotel. We also place New Testaments in schools, prisons, hospitals, and more. For $12.50, you can put New Testaments in the hands of 10 people who otherwise may not have the opportunity to receive God's word. Your donation of about $125 can result in a box of 100 New Testaments reaching lives in a country where many people are struggling and may simply not be able to afford to buy their own copy of the scriptures. For your convenience, you can make a check payable to the Gideons International or you can use a credit card form in your bulletin insert. There's a way for you to give right now using your smartphone or if you want to magnify your impact, you can set up a monthly gift. There's another way that you can place scriptures and at the same time uh, pay tribute to someone close to you. Those are Gideon cards. The cards are free, and you can use them to place scriptures in memory of a loved one or to congratulate somebody for an accomplice in their life or just let them know that you're thinking about them. We have a display rack just right outside the sanctuary doors. Uh, you'll find more details about the Gideon cards and the bulletin insert. So, uh, Brother Jason, thank you. Thank you, church, for allowing me the time to uh, share with you what uh, the Gideons are accomplishing through your support and your prayers. We ask you to uh, please pray for the Gideon ministry. May God bless you.